If you're looking for a way to improve your singing without paying for weekly singing lessons, then you've come to the right place. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Christy Lynn from christylynnmusic.com and welcome to Harp Help, where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. Now, quick disclaimer, this week I'm going to be looking at some notes in my book and I'm going to be drinking my tea because I just have about 15 minutes until my next Skype student. But I really wanted to get a video out to you guys this week. So I hope you excuse the informality. So people often ask me how I learned to sing, what I suggest they do to improve their singing. I know this is supposed to be about harp videos every Thursday, but I am a singer and harpist. And so I thought I'd address that question in today's video. You're probably thinking I'm gonna say something about like watching YouTube videos or something like that. Well, that can be helpful, but that's not what I'm gonna say today, actually. The biggest way I've improved my singing without having to pay for lessons is actually through singing in choirs. So I don't know how many of you are choir singers or have had the opportunity to sing in choir, but it is my number one recommendation whenever people ask me how to learn to sing. And there's quite a few reasons why I think choir singing is so helpful. One of the reasons is that um, your voice is kind of like a muscle. Well, it is a muscle. There are muscles involved. <laughs> And it's really important to exercise your muscles, your breathing muscles, your vocal cords, um, to get them stronger and fit and to be able to sing more clearly, more effortlessly. It's just a matter of exercise. I mean, it's not only that, but that's a big part of it. And so by singing regularly, you will see improvements. Even if you didn't have anybody necessarily giving you advice on your singing, um, just by singing regularly, you'll see some changes start to happen. So that's one major reason why choir singing is so helpful. And then, of course, you're going to be meeting other people who love to sing. And you might be a little shy at first if you've never sung in a choir before. But just joining a community choir, your school choir, maybe a church choir, something like that, where there's not a lot of pressure and hopefully everyone is included. It doesn't take um, auditioning, you'll find that there's other people who just love to sing and they're excited to be singing with other people. So you'll also be encouraged in your journey of learning to sing and you'll have people singing around you, just um, that sense of camaraderie. The other thing that's really valuable about choir singing is that you feel like you're a part of something that's bigger than yourself. That was a huge thing for me. I've spent so many years of my life singing in choirs. I started when I was eight years old, I think. I joined the kindergarten choir at our school, well, KG choir. And um, I sang all the way through school in choirs. And I was in an international or a, na a local youth choir that sang in international competitions. And we traveled around the world for that. So at that point, um, there was a little bit of a membership cost, but pretty much all of my choir singing, um, I, I didn't have to pay and the choir conductor or the choir director gives you input about your singing and teaches everyone to make a beautiful sound together and it was just such a wonderful experience for me and to sing this music where you have all the harmonies, um, different voice parts, creating this beautiful painting, um, well I think of it like a painting, a beautiful picture that you're creating in song. It's such an amazing experience and it's not something that you can do on your own in your bedroom watching YouTube videos. Um, I'm just going to have a look at my notes and see what else I talked about. I think just from, from choir singing, you can improve your range, you can improve your tone, the power of your voice, the clarity, your pitching and breathing, your vocal expression, because the um, choir director will be telling you when to sing louder and softer. They'll be um, conducting everybody to um, sing in phrases. And if you're in a good choir, you can learn a lot about musicality. Um, by having people singing around you, I talked about pitching, uh, hearing the people on either side of you singing the melody, it helps you to sing in tune as well. I've, I've known of people who have joined choirs not being able to sing very well in tune, and after a few years of singing in choirs, or maybe a few months, I'm not sure exactly how long, things changed for them and they started to be able to sing in tune. And actually, I know of one person in particular who ended up having such a beautiful voice and she never used to be able to sing in tune. But after learning to sing in tune from choir, she started singing solos and um, had just an outstanding voice. So I don't think it's true that you can't learn to sing 
if you haven't been able to sing up to this point, you never know what, what you can experience just by singing in a choir and hearing the people alongside you. Um, then I talked about traveling the world. Often you perform when you're in a choir and you may just be performing at local um, venues around in your city. But you never know, maybe you'll go on a tour overseas, maybe you'll see other parts of the country. It's such a wonderful way to broaden your horizons and have new opportunities and have so much fun along the way. There's a unique sense of belonging when you're in a choir. I think it's something to do with the fact that each voice part is really important and every person has a place in that voice part. And like if I, I was a first soprano singing the very, very high notes um, and if there's only five or six first sopranos, when I'm not there, it makes a difference. And that's such a wonderful feeling to know that people will notice when you're not there and that your part to play is really important. So I think that's actually a big part of being in a choir as well. Um, and you really start to see your voice improving as you build up stamina. I was singing all those high notes as a first soprano and, and when I first joined that particular choir, the um, youth choir that I was a part of, I would find that after two hours of singing so high in my voice, um, my voice felt a little bit tired, but a few weeks or months down the line, I could sing for a very long time, sing those very, very, very high notes and I wouldn't get too exhausted because my stamina had improved. Um, and just to end off that kind of discussion, I wanted to say that I so truly value the part that choirs have played in my singing. Um, I just wouldn't be the singer that I am today. I would never have had the same journey if I hadn't had all that input from those choir directors and um, the choir members that were alongside me in choir. So. I am so thankful for that journey and I really hope that it's accessible to all the rest of you who are wanting to improve your singing. So my advice to you is to have a look online, um, phone up someone who might know and see if you can find a choir that you can join. Maybe it will be your school choir if you're in school, maybe it will be a local church choir, a community choir and if you find that there's no choirs that you can join um, or if that you can only join by auditioning and you don't get through from the audition. Um, maybe you can start your own choir. It may seem like a big step, but it doesn't have to be a huge deal. You could just find a few friends who want to sing together. Um, I had an idea, maybe you could even speak to a local singing teacher, see if they know about choirs that you could join. And if they don't, then you could say, well, would you mind helping a few of us friends to join, to start a small choir? And I think the advantage for a singing teacher, especially if they're looking for more pupils, is if they start an informal choir, a community choir like that, um, you could even say to them, you never know how many people who join this choir might actually want singing lessons and they would end up getting more pupils. So I don't think it's impossible to start your own choir if it's really something you want to do. And um, yeah, not everyone can justify spending the amount that you'd have to invest in weekly singing lessons, especially if it's just a hobby and something you want to do just for fun. Um, I can understand that and maybe choir is the answer for you. But if you do really value having the one-on-one um, -on -one input, learning really good technique and you want to sort out those individual quirks and, and habits that we all pick up, um, then I think one-on-one -on -one singing lessons really are worth investing in. And so if you can set aside the money for that, then go for it. But I still think there's things you can learn from a choir that you couldn't even learn from singing lessons because you can't harmonize with yourself. <laughs> well, all the best, guys. And tell me if that is helpful for you. Put a comment down below and let me know if you know of any local choirs in your area. Even if this isn't something that you're going to try, I would love to hear what it's like in other cities in other countries because I know in South Africa we have a lot of choirs available. But maybe it's not the same in your country. So let me know about that and if you want to hear more of these weekly videos about the harp and listen to me singing and playing the harp, then um, subscribe. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.